Hi, welcome to the PinFlux tutorial and general overview. PinFlux 2 is the new and improved Pinterest automation app from TechnicForce that makes it quick and easy to build and manage high converting Pinterest accounts. It's ideal for business owners who don't have time to manage busy social media marketing campaigns and for internet marketers who are managing multiple accounts. It allows you to pin images from the internet that PinFlux finds for you automatically based on keywords. It allows you to upload images from your own computer to pin on Pinterest. It allows you to repin pins that already exist on Pinterest based on keywords. It allows you to follow boards that exist on Pinterest already and unfollow boards. You can follow users based on keywords and unfollow users based on different parameters. You can search for group boards by categories and find popular group boards to apply to be a part of. It manages all of your activity in detailed reports. And in case of problems, there's a detailed uh, error tab as well to keep track of that for you as well. So to get started, you can add your account and this requires your Pinterest login information. If you're using a proxy, you can enter that information here as well in the following format. Once your accounts are all uploaded, you can manage several accounts at once. And the boards that are already assigned to those accounts will appear in the top bar. You can manage your boards here by importing them from Pinterest into PinFlux or create brand new boards for you to create pins on as well. In order to pin content from the internet, first you'll just go to settings and you can input your keywords here and you can have several keywords if you like, along with a short description that will appear on your pins with your forwarding website and that will direct anybody who clicks on your images to your website. You can instruct PinFlux to automatically pin these to your board on the schedule that you set. So for example, right now PinFlux is instructed to set to pin our images at a rate of one every day or two. We also have the option of adding the search results that PinFlux finds for our search term. So these are all floral design images that PinFlux has found. We can either pin these instantly to our account or we can add them to the queue. And what that does is it builds up our list of pending pins. And you can see we have quite a few here accumulated already. And all of these images will be pinned automatically by PinFlux at a rate of one every day or two, sometime between this time span. And we can customize that as much as we like. To upload images from your own library, you can just go to the upload tab and go into settings and from the browse button, you can upload as many images in one time as you want, one or several. And again, just add your description and your link. And then you can save your settings. Just set the times here quickly and save our settings. And those images will now be saved to your board to either pin now or add to your pending queue. You can also repin images from Pinterest by searching Pinterest for keywords. Adjusting the settings here, I'll just do that quickly. And then save your settings. Now PinFlux will search Pinterest for those related keyword terms and offer us a variety of images that we can repin. So we'll just go ahead and repin a couple of those now. And we'll add a couple of these to our queue as pending images to be repinned later. And here we can see our pending repins. And these will be repinned on the schedule that we set. Likewise, 
You can also follow boards on Pinterest. And we'll just set our time settings here. Save that. And now Pinflux will find keyword related boards on Pinterest for us to follow. So we can follow these boards now, or we can add them to the queue. And on a regularly scheduled basis, Pinflux will take the boards that are in our pending boards tab and follow them on our schedule. And to help us keep track of our growth of a following of boards that are followed, Pinflex has a bar graph here, and here you can see the two boards that we followed today. You can also schedule an unfollow strategy, and you can set auto unfollow, and you can set that for boards that are less than a certain number of pins and a certain number of followers, and you can set the times for that as well and Pinflex will automatically follow boards and unfollow them based on your schedules. The same applies for users. You can search for certain keywords to find users. And I'll just put in our settings here, save. And Pinflex will find users who are related to that keyword term. And now we can follow those now or add them to our queue. And based on our settings, they will be followed at the rate that we set. And then we can set up our unfollow settings to unfollow those users based on whatever criteria we choose. Pinflex will also help us find group boards to join, and we can filter that by category and sort functions. And Pinflex will find all the related group boards for us that we can then follow and apply to. So this has just been a general overview, but if you're looking for more detailed information, we have more advanced tutorials under the Help tab. We hope Pinflux makes your Pinterest marketing campaign a success. Thank you very much for watching.